Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important and conceptual problem from limits involving the greatest integer function and signum function, right? So here uh, we have to evaluate this limit that is limit x tends to 0 uh, positive. This positive sign shows that we have to find the right hand limit of this function when x approaches to 0. Right? And the function is greatest integer of sine 1 plus 3 times signum of x divided by a signum of x. Right? So here uh, we have two important functions. Uh, the first one is greatest integer function and the second is signum function. So let us first quickly see the definition of greatest integer function and signum function. Right? So the greatest integer of x is defined as the greatest integer of x is greater than x minus 1 but it is less than or equal to x. Right? So where uh, x is uh, any real number. So here uh, we can uh, verify this definition by taking some examples. Let us take x is equal to say 2.1. So when we uh, take the greatest integer of 2.1, then the greatest integer which is less than 2.1 or equal to 2.1 is uh, 2, right? And if we substitute x is equal to 2.1 in this inequality, uh, we'll get 2.1 minus 1. And here we have greatest integer of 2.1. And here we have uh, 2.1. So 2.1 minus 1 is uh, 1.1 and here uh, greatest integer of 2.1 is simply 2 and here we have 2.1. So 2 is greater than 1.1 and it is less than 2.1. And similarly we can uh, verify uh, this definition by taking other examples and always remember the greatest integer of any uh, integer say uh, greatest integer of 4 is uh, simply 4 similarly the greatest integer of minus 4 is again minus 4 and the greatest integer of 0 is 0 right so this is a, a brief uh, description of the definition of greatest integer function so now let us quickly uh, describe the definition of signum function so signum of uh, x may be defined as positive 1 whenever x is greater than 0 or x is a positive quantity, right? And signum of x is 0 whenever x is equal to 0 and signum of x takes the value minus 1 whenever x is less than 0, it implies when x is negative, right? So uh, we can take some examples here. So whenever we have a signum of say minus 2.1, then uh, x is less than 0, that is minus 2.1 is less than 0 or it is negative. So signum of x takes the value minus 1. Similarly, if we have signum of say plus 4.4, uh, then uh, here signum of x is equal to plus 1 whenever x is greater than 0 that is x is positive so here we have a positive quantity so the value of signum of 4.4 is plus 1 and obviously for uh, 0 that is signum of 0 is defined as 0 right so now let us apply these two definitions uh, to this function to get the value of this limit. So let us call this limit as L and here uh, the point of consideration is 0. So here we have x is equal to 0 and we have to find the right hand limit of this function. right? So when we approach towards x is equal to 0 from the right then uh, we are very close to x is equal to 0 and uh, uh, let us take that close point as 0 plus h, right? So we'll take uh, x is equal to 0 plus h or we'll make this substitution uh, where h is infinitesimally very small and h is uh, a positive quantity and it lies between 0 and 1. 
right so h is a, a very very small quantity it is infinitesimally very small so now uh, this limit l can be uh, expressed in terms of h we are taking x is equal to 0 plus h so we have x is equal to h and when x approaches to 0 then obviously h tends to 0 right so we have limit and we have h tends to 0 then we have the greatest integer function here and we have sine and 1 plus 3 times uh, signum of uh, x and here we have for x we have h right and now uh, in the denominator we have signum of h right okay so now here we have signum of h and here also we have signum of h so the value of signum of h due to this definition is equal to plus 1 because our h is a positive quantity right so signum of h is plus 1 so now we have limit h tends to 0 and we have here a sign of 1 plus uh, 3 times 1 because signum of h is 1 and here we have signum of h that is equal to 1 so this is limit h tends to 0 and this is greatest integer and we have a sign of 1 plus 3 that is sine 4 right now here we do not have any uh, expression containing h so we can omit this limit sign so we are now uh, having l is equal to the greatest integer of sine 4 and remember here the value of signum of h is 1 so we have sine 4 over 1 so here we have greatest integer of sine 4 this is actually sine 4 radians right so now we have to calculate the value of greatest integer of uh, sine 4 radians and let us calculate this value by using the graph of uh, sine function so let us draw the graph of sine function uh, which is like this so this is a, a rough graph and here uh, we have the maximum value of a sign that is positive 1 and here we have the minimum value of sine function uh, that is minus 1 right and here we have 0 then here we have pi uh, this is pi by 2 and here we have uh, 3 pi by 2 that is 270 degrees and here we have 2 pi right so this is the one cycle of uh, uh, sine function so here we have to calculate the value of greatest integer of sine 4. So let us first convert this 4 radians into degrees, right? So C is the symbol for radians. So 1 radian is approximately equal to 57.29 degrees, right? So 4 radians can be written as uh, uh, here uh, 4 times uh, 57.29 degrees. So when we uh, find out the product, uh, we'll get uh, 229.16, right? So 4 radians is approximately equal to 229.16 degrees. And we can see that uh, 4 radians is greater than pi, that is uh, 180 degrees, but it is uh, less than uh, 3 pi by 2 right so now let us come to our graph now 4 radians is equal to 229.16 degrees so uh, this angle it lies somewhere here right so here uh, we have uh, 4 uh, radians so the value of sine 4 radians is given by uh, this value right so our 4 radians it lies on the x-axis and the value of uh, sine 4 radians is given uh, by uh, this point which lies on the y-axis. 
right and we can easily see that this point uh, it lies between the minimum value that is minus 1 and 0 so from this graph we can easily uh, make the uh, conclusion that uh, sine 4 radians uh, it is uh, uh, greater than uh, minus 1 that is this value and it is less than a 0 right so sine 4 radians it lies between minus 1 and 0 so the greatest integer of uh, sine 4 radians must be equal to minus 1 right because any number which lies between minus 1 and 0, the greatest integer of that number uh, should be equal to minus 1. Because see, if we have a number say minus 0 0.7, then the greatest integer of minus 0 0.7 should be equal to minus 1. And similarly, if we have say any number say minus 0 0.8, uh, 8 1 then the greatest integer of minus 0 0.81 is minus 1 so sine 4 radians it lies between minus 1 and 0 and it has some value so here we are not uh, bothered about the uh, actual value of uh, sine 4 radians rather we are taking only the uh, statement that sine 4 radians is lying between minus 1 and 0 so we are only utilizing this fact so the value of greatest integer of sine 4 radians is equal to minus 1. So the value of this limit L is equal to a minus 1, right? So this is how we can find out the value of this limit.